Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from PTC 2022. Joining me is Chris Jones, Director of Data Center Infrastructure and Operations, and Antonio Del Sasso, Director of Operations for Spencer Building Carrier Hotel. Thank you both so much for joining us here today. It's so great to be together in person at PTC. Uh, it's been a, a couple years since uh, we were able to be at this event and it's great to have you here and have you here with some great news to share. So I think that you have some exciting things maybe you wanna share about Spencer Building and you can tell our audience and, and tell the market. Sure, yeah, first off, uh, it's very exciting to be here. Um, very happy that we're able to make it to this event. Um, I know that uh, this event uh, usually has um, you know, a lot of people attending. Uh, and this year it's been a bit of a job, uh, with the pandemic and all, but uh, glad to see that there's still uh, a lot of people here, which is great. Um, and for us, we just um, launched our landing page to announce Spencer Building Carrier Hotel to the market um, that our intention is to bring a state-of-the-art um, provider-neutral carrier hotel and top-tier data center to the Vancouver market and the downtown core. Uh, we believe that uh, this is something that, that's needed uh, seeing that the growing market in Vancouver is just accelerating, um, and I think it's great timing uh, for the market. And tell us about the team behind Spencer Building. I know that there's a, a all-star cast bringing this to market. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Yeah. Um, I think um, uh, Players Realty. Um, <coughs> has a great team behind them uh, and they're the ones supporting this initiative and uh, we have uh, Richard Louie and Eric Van Raren, uh who are uh, our executives uh, and financial um, uh, leaders here that are providing uh, direction and vision uh, for the company. Uh, we also are able to take advantage of Antonio Del Sasso who has over 30 years of building operations experience and so it's a really great fit. Yeah. Yeah, and then for us, we're lucky that we claimed uh, claimed uh, Chris on, on on the open market because he brings a wealth of experience yeah. to us, and and he's that experience of building data centers and knows our building, and knows how know how we work. So it was great um, landing Chris, and, and and hopefully he can uh, he can lead us the right way because uh, we believe in him. Yeah. yeah. So you've got the right people, the right team. Why now? Why this? Why this development? Why this opportunity? I think um, the Vancouver market uh, is growing, especially in the last uh, few years, significant growth uh, in the market. And there's not a lot of, uh, I would say not a lot of data center capacity and carry hotel capacity in Vancouver. There is some, but compared to other markets, not a lot. But the, the market is really growing. Uh, we're seeing hyperscalers move in. Um, lots of different companies are coming to Vancouver because of the you know, access to, to, to APAC and other regions, as well as close access to Washington, uh, just to the south of us. So I think capacity there is uh, is an issue. And so I think, um, you know, combining um, Harbor Center, which is the Western Canadian telecommunications hub, uh, primary uh, carrier hotel basically in Vancouver, with a new data center, uh, top tier data center, state of the art, I think it's a great fit and it will add a significant value to the market. Yeah. Yeah, I think just to add to that, you know, we started Harbor Center in the early 90s because we had a connectivity hub into Harbor Center. Um, the last few years, we've grown out of everything. There's no more power, there's no more uh, connectivity feeds, there's no more um, uh, cooling capacity. So we believe that bringing this new project in place at Harbor Center, Spence Building, Care Hotel, is just a great fit for the building itself. Yeah. yeah. So tell us, about, tell us about the building itself. What will it involve? What will it, what will it offer? I mean, so it's going to um, uh, be developed in the Spencer building, which is uh, just right beside uh, the Harbor Center building. Uh, it was built in the 20s. Uh, it is significantly structurally sound, um, so that's the first great part. Um, and uh, so we're going to build there uh, with a great foundation, um, but we're going to build a, a Tier 3 uh, data center with um, you know, 10 megawatts of emergency power. Uh, between two data halls, so we'll have five megawatts at each of the data halls, uh, providing 
uh, redundant power and cooling as you would see in typical data center, but also trying to offer um, kind of a green initiative in the most efficient mechanical cooling side, taking advantage of all the free cooling uh, that the Vancouver environment offers, um, yeah. trying to also bring the price point down for our customers um, because we know that price point is obviously a significant issue for a lot of the customers coming to Vancouver. Um, you know, prices in Vancouver are fairly high, and so we're going to do our best to try to try to bring that price down for our customers by developing some very efficient uh, systems that will allow our costs to be lower. And so when when do you expect to start construction? When will it be complete? And what, what's the timeline look like for you? Yeah, so I think 2022 is going to be a significant year for us. Um, we started the design process. Um, we're into pre-construction for the most part right now. So 2022 should bring a lot of uh, permit activity, construction activity, and uh, with our goal of you know kind of early to mid 2023. Um, but with the global pandemic going on right now, um, yeah. it's a bit up in the air, just depending on, on kind of how supply chains go and, and a few different things. But that's our goal, and we're, we're going to do our best to try to. Move that yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. Everyone's just trying to keep things on track at this point, right? There's there's a lot of global hurdles, but um, sounds like you you're right on on track so far, right? In terms of what you had planned, when do you think you'll start tours and bookings um, for the facility? You know, and, and do you have an ideal tenant that you'd like to bring through? Uh, I think for me, it's you know six to twelve months uh, out from when um, our services become available, um, typically. So uh, I would say that you know I don't know about an ideal tenant, but I mean we want to offer anywhere from a you know small medium business, uh, mom and pop to banks to government hyperscalers. Um, and uh, small businesses, it's, it's anybody who needs uh, all that connectivity uh, and top tier data center uh, infrastructure in one space. I mean, we have over 20,000 connected fibers in our building. It is the primary telecommunications hub of Western Canada. So yeah. if you need to be with someone, you want to be at Spencer Building Carrier Hotel yeah. uh, because we've got everyone there and you can connect to anyone immediately. Yeah. yeah, and maybe just to add to that, you know, we at, at Harbor Center, again, on the existing building platform, we have three meeting rooms. We already have cooling capacity, emergency power as discussed before, which which is taxed out right now. But our connectivity is still alive and well, and, and, and we're hoping to to tap into that market with Spencer Building Hotel. And, and um, we have a big market in Harbor Center, and I think with the growth here and the flexibility of the new space, which, which is ideally because we're still in, in, growth, in the growth stages of it, so we can adapt as we build out um, our both set, data center halls that that Chris is working on, so yeah, it's great. Right, and, and sort of adjust to the needs of the market as as they exactly yeah. come yeah. to fruition. It's and, a good and, time right now to to, yeah. to 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 come see us because yeah. we're in that process, and then it's great. Yeah, yeah. everyone we talk to, um, uh, had their complaint has been that the downtown core just doesn't have great data center capacity available, and so we yeah. find that this is going to be an opportunity uh, where we can hopefully provide that capacity to the market um, yeah. and provide those people with. Uh, the services that they need. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like the right time, the right location, all the everything's lining up the the, the right proposition for Western Canada, uh, I yeah. think at this time. Where can people go to sort of follow the progress in terms of you know, thing call Chris. Timing call Chris, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. spencerbuilding.com uh, is obviously our, our, our current landing page which will soon be um, a full on website. Yeah. Um, so there's information there. Um, we also have our LinkedIn page uh, and our Twitter, uh, which you can keep up to date on. Uh, you can also uh, sign up on our website uh, for updates and kind of get on, if you will, a VIP list where they get information ahead of time, kind of before it gets announced in the market. Yeah. So those are great opportunities, great areas too. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, well, thank you both for joining us. And like I said, it was great to it's great to be here in person and, and see you both and really exciting to to hear this news and everything that is in store for for vancouver and for spencer building carrier hotel so so thank you thank uh, you chris and antonio thank and, yeah no yeah. thank you i mean we're just really excited to let everyone know what we're doing and provide uh, a viable option uh, in the vancouver market yeah uh, in downtown more. yeah so looking forward to it yeah fantastic uh, thanks. thank you thank you both and thank you viewers for joining jsa tv and jsa podcasts happy networking